And hello, everybody. We are going to be going to our next writing lesson, which is Poetry Lesson 8, Haiku Poems. Uh, just to start, like I always say, my screen looks much different than yours because I have everything sitting here ready to send to all of you. Um, so all you're going to see is like what I have at the top, Poetry Lesson 8, Haiku Poems. I love haiku poems. Let's open it up. You are going to see... Uh, my school has been running a little bit slow today. So if this happens, give me just a sec. As people have been starting up their distance learning, Schoology is running slow. You might experience that. I will be sending out kind of emails about that too, just to let you know. Um, I think with lots and lots of schools who use Schoology, Schoology might run into a few issues, um, but it seems like they've been able to fix problems really fast. So just to let you know. Um, but when you open it up, you're going to see three steps. Step one is to open and watch this video that I'm recording right now, but you can't, uh, or you can't see mine because I'm still making this, but um, you will be, it'll be on yours. Yours will be step one to watch this video. Step two is to open this for notes about the lesson. Now remember, um, this video and that step two and your step three are all great things you can go back and rewatch, reread, relook at again. Um, if you get confused or if you need help or if you need ideas, remember, but you can always call me, message me if you need anything too. But you, you can always just go, just go to school you too if you um, want to do that. But we're going to start by going to step two. Open this for notes about the lesson. Um, we're going to start by reading the goal at I can use syllables. Ready? I can use syllables to create haiku poems. Uh, now remember, syllables are basically um, how many parts are in a word. Um, so like the word I has one syllable, can has two, has one syllable, use has one syllable. Syllables has syllables, three, three parts, three syllables. Two has one syllable. Create has create, two syllables. Haiku, two syllables. Poems, two syllables. But that's what we're going to be using. We're going to be using syllables to write this. Um, so let's look at our coaching tips. So step one, read these coaching tips. The first line must have five syllables, the second line must have seven syllables, and the third line must have five syllables. And so remember, poems, you don't call them sentences, you call them lines. And when we look at the poem examples, you'll kind of, they'll make more sense. Um, when you're done, so important to reread your poem. I'm hoping you're noticing that I do that constantly when I'm making mine on these videos. Make sure you do that too, to, to uh, produce the best poem you can make, uh, or, or you know you can put out. Uh, write about what you know. Um, like the last one, uh, uh, last lesson you saw with the concrete poem, Batman. I know so much about Batman, so that's why I chose that. Write what you know about too. And then um, after you post a poem, read others and make positive comments about their poems. Um, make make inappropriate things. Give them, yeah, give them some shout out, shout outs. Um, ask them questions. Um, like, wow, you know, uh, how have you been? How have you been getting all of your ideas? Are you looking at lots of poems? Are you looking around your house? It, you know, just try to um try to really engage or communicate and talk with the other poets in our class. You remember, a poet is a writer, and you are. All, and if you write poems, you're a poet. So all of you are poets. Um, step two, open the haiku poems folder for examples, which I'll be doing here in a second. Then step three, write your own haiku poems on seesaw. So we're going to go look at some examples now. So on the top left corner, hit the back arrow button. Then I'm going to go to step, I'm going to go to step three, open this for haiku poem examples. So you're going to see there's five of them. Number one is kite. So I'm going to read the poem first, and then we'll go back and count syllables. Uh, school G is going just a little bit slow. Remember, everybody, be as patient as you can. Sometimes with everybody using technology all at the same time, it can run just a tad bit slow. So pace, patience is a virtue. Um, you know, you've heard me say that all year long, meaning um, virtue is something like a really good characteristic, something good to have. So being patient, waiting calmly. Number one, kite. Try it again. Uh, and if it goes really, really slow here, oh, whew, here we go. Uh, I'm glad this one worked because this one, um, I like, I like to this one because on the right side it has the syllables five seven five. That's the biggest thing you need to remember for um haiku. And if you remember back way back in lesson one, haikus don't rhyme. They, they that's kind of like 
It's like a, they can, but really traditional haikus, they don't rhyme. Because um, usually when poets write in haikus, they don't want rhyming to be a focus of it. They want it to be more of that rhythm of five syllables, seven syllables, five syllables. So kites, high and smooth, it flew into the sky, soaring straight, flying kites with you. I like that one. So that first line, let's count the syllables. High and smooth, it flew. So on my finger, on my hand, you can't see me doing it. We would have done this in class. But every time I get a syllable, I, I put up one finger. So high is one, and is two, smooth is three, it is four, flew is five. High and smooth, it flew. So you, you can do that counting on your hand too. It'll help you. Now we're going to do the next line, uh, line two, into, that's two, the sky, soaring straight. So into is into, two, the, three, sky, four, soaring is five and six, and then straight is seven, into the sky, soaring straight. And then number five, flying, that's two. Kites, three, with, four, you is five. So count with me on your fingers. Flying, kites, with you. Yep, got it. Okay, now we're going to go to number two, tree frog. Run in just a little bit, slow. And if it takes a long time, I won't make you um, sit here and watch me do this, but because I can just show you some examples of my writing on Seesaw. But tree frogs, this is by Matthew Rickus. So I'm going to just read it, and then we'll go back and count syllables. They live in tall trees, such cool, luminous colors, sticky pads on feet. Okay, so line one, they live in, old, they live in tall trees. They live in tall trees. I don't know if you can hear me put on my fingers. I'm trying to make it, like, if you can kind of hear it. Um, they, one, live, two, in, three, tall, four, trees, five. Yeah, works. Line two, such cool. Such, one, cool, two, luminous, luminous colors. So that's seven. So I'm going to do that one more time, sorry. Such, one, cool, two, lu, three, min, four, is, five, cul, six, ers, seven. So such, cool, luminous colors, seven. And then the fifth, the third line should have five syllables again. Sticky, that's two. Pads, three, on, four, feet, five. Sticky, pads, on, feet. Yeah, five, seven, five. Spring. So Spring is the Air by Caitlin Ginther. Spring is in the air. Flowers are blooming sky high. Children are laughing. So we're going to count them again. So line one, spring is in the air. Yeah, five. Spring one is two. In three, the four, air five. Line two, flowers are blooming sky high. Yeah, flowers two are three, blooming five, sky six, high seven. And line three, children are laughing, yeah. Children, two, are, three, laughing, five. Butterfly. No. It's going really slow. No, well, maybe we'll, oh, good, we'll get it. Okay, so butterflies. Butterflies are cool in the big, huge green forest. They fly up so high. Cool. I'm going to like that one. Um, so I'm going to do five. I'm going to do line one. Butterflies are cool. That's five. Yep. Butterflies, three, are four, cool five. Line two. In the big, huge, green forest. Yeah. In one, the two, big three, huge four, green five, forest, six and seven. Then line three. They fly up so high. Yep. They one, fly two, up three, so four, high five. And I'm going to go to mix. Last one. Mm. 
let's see, let's see, let's see if it loads. Oof. Okay, so these are um, basically, just, they're just a mix. I, I called it mix because there's four different ones here. Um, basically about different insects. A fat bee stings me. It hurts very badly, but I do not cry, though. Line one, a fat bee stings me. Yep, five. Line two, it hurts very badly, but seven. I do not cry, though. Yeah, five, five, seven, five. So these are just some more examples here, um, like, like this one. Moths go flying by. They are very beautiful, fluttering around. Ladybugs are red and have black spots on their wings, experts at flying. The bee flies quickly. It turns around and stings me, then falls to the ground. So you can come back and look at any of these poem examples. Look at my notes. Rewatch this video um, before you start um, writing your own, just to get uh, lots of ideas. But the next part is me writing. <laughs>